Hi, I'm Mark Cranenberg. Today we're taking a look at our first food truck on our show. These guys are kicking off their second season here on Carp Road near Hazeldean in the beautiful town of Stittsville. Gourmet sandwiches and soups to die for. This little converted trailer unleashes some of the most flavorful food this side of Parliament. Come experience the Witch's Cauldron with us, all here at OttawaFoodie.com. The reason I love food trucks so much is because I'm a carpenter and I work all over the city. Finding the right food truck makes a good job a great job. Let's go check it out and see what Monique and Craig are up to. Hey guys, mind to come in? Come on in. So we're here with Craig and Monique. They're a culinary team and also sweethearts. They're working six days a week. So Monique, how did you guys meet? Uh, we actually met at uh, my first job in Ottawa, at the Village Cafe. Uh, Craig became my boss there. And uh, yeah, we started cooking together and realized that our cooking styles meshed really well and here we are. What's it like working with your wife every single day? Honestly? No, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. No, it's fantastic. Our cooking styles really work together, so we're happy. So Craig, what's the best part about working in a food truck? Absolutely, 100%. It has to be the people. Dealing with them one-on-one, -on -one, no greater feeling in the world. So Monique, what are some of the challenges in being in a food truck? Uh, well, living in Ottawa, we know that we have cold winters. So I would say, number one, the weather. It's very weather dependent. And uh, storage. I mean, we obviously don't have as much space as a restaurant. So those are the challenges, but they're definitely worth it. One thing we really love about you guys is you have a really good following on social media. And you really connect with your clients. Is there something you'd like to say to them? Um, at the bottom of our hearts, we want to thank you so much. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for everyone who comes out cold weather, the rain, all the time. We love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. What she said. <laughs> Craig, what sandwich are you making us? Today we're going to be making the uh, most popular chicken sandwich we have here. Uh, today it's going to be with grilled chicken, uh, strawberry cracked pepper and balsamic compote, caramelized onions, brie cheese, and then on the bread it's going to be roasted garlic mayonnaise with spring greens and cucumber. Nice. Let's see you put this together. Absolutely. First, we'll take your chicken, slice it so we can make it manageable for the sandwich. Put that on our sheet tray, and we start layering the other ingredients. Start with the cracked pepper compote. Want to get the nice sweetness on there. The caramelized onions for the earthiness. Double cream brie. Here we go. So delicious. So tell me more about the bread. Uh, it's fresh made from Rishon Bakery. It's considered an Italian rustic roll, so the shape isn't always the same, which actually goes really well with our rustic thought process on food here. Uh, that was a roasted garlic mayo. And this here is our fresh spring greens. Some sliced cucumber for crunch. And you guys know me, I love the crunch. Slide it right on there. A little bit of a squish so it stays together. And we're just gonna slice it right down the middle. It up. Wow. So beautiful, Greg. Thank you, it's my wife's idea. You're an artist. Do you remember that show in the 80s called The Newlywed Show? We're gonna do a little Ottawa foodie rendition. Craig, while you're wrapping this up, do you mind Absolutely. asking a couple questions? Please go ahead. Where did you go on your first date with Monique? Uh, first date we went to a movie, I believe it was James Bond, and then we went to a little bar in Westboro called Trio. Monique, where was your first date? Uh, it was at the Coliseum for a movie and Trio Lounge for a drink. What movie did you watch? Uh, it was a James Bond movie. Okay. And, and what's Monique's favorite sandwich? Uh, her favorite sandwich I would have to go with classic grilled cheese. And what's your favorite sandwich? Um, I'm more girly. I like the one that we just made you <laughs> with the brie and the strawberry combo. What's Monique's dream vacation? If I had to guess, it would be Italy just for the food. Uh, what's your dream vacation? Uh, I would really like to go to Europe. If you were to pick one place, where would it be? Uh, I'm going to have to 
still Italy. What does Monique love most about you? I'd have to go with besides looks, sense of humor. What's your favorite part about Craig? Uh, he's always a good time. He's funny, he makes me laugh. We have a good time working together. The Witch's Cauldron has a one-two punch knockout. First the sandwich, then the soup. Monique, tell me about the soup. Well, we make a lot of homemade soups here. We try to make them different all the time. And every sandwich you get comes with a little dipper of soup. Uh, today, for instance, we have a Cubano black bean with oven baked ham. Very popular. I love homemade soup. What do you make in this? We make this in the morning. So it takes us a few hours for every soup. So basically we start the soup right away and we let it simmer. And then we finish it off right before we open. So it's always fresh. We're going to get right into it. Wow, that's very good. You can really taste that texture from the black beans. It gives it a really, really good flavor. Is that bacon in there? Uh, oven baked ham. Oven baked ham. Yeah. That oven baked ham is amazing. Yeah. What a great, juice. what a great combination. That dipper is an amazing idea. I can't wait to dip my sandwich into that. Yeah, the dipper, right. I'm a crust dipper, so that was key on our menu. Okay, let's get into the sandwich. I love a messy sandwich. That's definitely a messy sandwich. Got crunch. We know we need crunch from the cucumbers. Got strawberry compo with the caramelized onions. Really cuts through. Gives you a really good balance. Very good. Monique, that sandwich is amazing. I need another one. What are you gonna make me? Okay, well the people of Stetsville seem to love chicken. So I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you, well, something would be a special. So I'm gonna do a grilled chicken breast. Uh, we're going to put some cucumbers, some roasted red peppers, some spicy eggplant, red pepper jelly as well. Love and homemade. What kind of cheese we got over there? Uh, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. So, uh, pretty classic cheese. How long will that take? Uh, so that'll take about just two minutes, just heating, melting the cheese. People like their cheesy ooey and gooey. I love fast and still fresh. Yes. Red pepper jam on one side. That. And then we've got a little bit of a spicy uh, sriracha mayonnaise. Fresh greens. Eggplant. Right here I have some freshly sliced tomatoes. What I'm seeing here, there's a lot of detail going into this. It's got to be perfect every time. Every sandwich is special. <laughs> so you can see the chicken's heated through. My favorite part about this show is I get to eat the best food in the world. I love my job. That is a delicious sandwich. So what keeps you coming back here? You know what, the fresh soups mainly, but the sandwiches are awesome too. So I'm here with Rebecca and Bernie. Um, I love their specials, their soups. Uh, there's always something different and healthy on their menu. So what do you think of those lovebirds? Uh, they're great. You know what? It's nice to come up to the trailer and uh, and chat with them. There's always something interesting to, to hear. Can I get food? Well, I'll get a special. What keeps you coming back here? Healthy food, tastes great, and it's convenient. <laughs> what would you say about uh, the people here? I don't know. That's kind of questionable. <laughs> no, they're great. I wouldn't ask for any better. They treat me well. Good portions. Scott? Hey everybody, thank you very much. We got um, the special of the day, I believe it's uh, chicken, roasted chicken and mozzarella. It's close to work for me, um, food's fantastic and uh, they're great staff here. Heather, you're up. Thank you. you enjoy? Thank you. So what'd you get today? I got the special with a cup of soup. And why do you come here? Well, number one, these are my best friends. I'm supporting them and their food is absolutely delicious. I normally, you know, I'm, I'm a little hesitant on soups, but I have not had one soup yet that was bad. They were fantastic and it's just, the staff is excellent and it's just always fun to come. Supporting your friends is really important, especially when their food is off the hook. So while we live in the community and we're always looking for a new place to go, when you come home from work, like, let's be honest, you're not always ready to make a dinner or something like that or even lunch times. So I even drive all the way from uh, Green Bank to come here for lunch uh, on a fairly regular basis. So as you can see, working with someone you love on something you love can be very rewarding. Craig and Monique have a very loyal following and for good reason.
They make great food and are good people. A combination you rarely see without a labor of love as a foundation. So head on down to the Witch's Cauldron. Foodie or not, you're not going to be disappointed. I'm Mark from OttawaFoodie.com. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time.